listen, there, are, there isn't a person out there that a style, you know, tall, little, fast, slow, aggressive, back foot that Katie hasn't fought. Saying that, <laughs> um, you know, you look at uh, amateur history and people that she's, you know, hasn't been as successful with, Tart- Gulsum Tartar, um, Sophia Rochegeva, and, and um, you know, I've close calls with myself and we're all self pause. You look at, you know, can you draw Katie into a fight? You look at the pursuing one, yet you can. Um, and Serrano is a southpaw. She's aggressive. She's going to come forward. She's not a pursuing fighting in, in New York. She's, a, you know, a, an American fighting in New York that the prefer that aggressive style. Um, she's the, she's probably the home fighter. Um, but, yeah, I, I just think she's all wrong for Katie. No, I think Katie wins. Um, I think Serrano... Um, Fought in the smaller divisions, coming through. Katie's been at lightweight. She's comfortable being on the big stage, done it all. And I did see when Natasha's going to fight her, she was just going over the hill. And you've seen that in a recent performance, but there's always one big fight still in her. And this is the fight that it's got to be. Um, she was under huge pressure, but I think Katie Taylor's uh, too good. And I just expect Katie Taylor to win this. Thank you both for your time.